The project 21630 Buyang and 21631 Buyang M is a series of 15 corvettes or small missile and artillery ships in the Russian classification. They were specifically designed to operate in shallow waters of the Caspian Sea as well as the nearby rivers. New vessels have also joined Russian naval forces in the Baltic and Black Seas. Their main mission is to defend Russia's vast coastal areas, patrol the country's extensive river network, and provide a fast response to emerging threats. Originally, the Buyang class were artillery ships built to replace the Nanuchka class small missile ships from the Soviet era, some of which remain in service with the Russian Navy. However, after the commissioning of the lead ship, the Astrakhan, the basic design was believed to be underarmed. The original Buyang class relies on its 100mm A190 naval gun as its main armament, and the Grad M 122mm multiple rockets launchers. This deprived the class of truly long range striking power against both naval and land targets. Therefore, a new subclass was developed, the Project 21631 Buyang M. These vessels were more heavily armed with long range caliber cruise missiles and were much larger as a result. Three vessels were built to the Project 21630 Buyang design and eight have been built to the Buyang M subclass specifications. Four further Buyang M ships are still currently under construction. A total of 15 ships are planned and are scheduled to be fully delivered by 2023. The basic Buyang design displaces 520 tons fully loaded, so a very small ship. The Buyang M subclass is nearly double the displacement at 949 tons fully loaded, in part because of its armament of vertical launching systems that allow precision strikes by cruise missiles against land and naval targets. The basic Buyang has a length of 62 meters and a beam of 9.6 meters. The Buyang M improved version is slightly longer at 75 meters and wider at 11 meters. Complement is either 36 on the basic design or 52 on the Buyang M. Propulsion is a combined diesel and diesel configuration with four Zavista M520 diesel engines driving two shafts. At the end of the shaft are two pump jets, which in theory should be good for shallow water operations and should offer high maneuverability. The Buyang can achieve a speed of 28 knots, while the M subclass is slightly slower at 26 knots. The Buyang M is not a blue water naval ship. It only has an endurance of 10 days and a range of around 4,000 kilometers at 12 knots cruising speed. The Buyang is supposedly quite a stealthy ship. The ship is designed with suitable angles for deflecting radar and is reportedly covered in radar absorbance coating on the outside. There are also no portholes or side windows on the ship whatsoever, reducing another source of potential radio wave deflection. The bridge is integrated into the front superstructure and the main radar mast has a low radar cross-section design. The Buyang class, and especially the Buyang M, has an incredible amount of surface-to-surface -surface firepower for a small patrol ship. All vessels are armed with the 100mm A190 naval artillery. This gun is a modernized lightweight version of the famous AK-100 deployed by the Soviet Union. The A190 can rotate quickly in response to any incoming threat across a wide range of bearings and elevation. The rate of fire is high for a large caliber gun with 80 rounds per minute, a 50% increase from the AK-100. The Buyang also has a 20 round Grad M 122mm multiple rockets launchers, 
which can deal with land targets at an extended and safer standoff range. The main job of the Buyang class is to use its high mobility to get to various places in Russia's littoral waters where needed, and use the A-190 naval gun to engage asymmetric threats, like hostile raiders, and use the Grad M rocket launcher to support nearby land operations. However, the Russian Navy modified the later Buyang M subclass to include long-range surface attack capability. They installed a vertical launching system of eight cells in a 4x2 configuration. These are armed with either the Caliber, also known as the SSN-27 Sizzler, or the Onyx, aka the SSN-26 Strobile supersonic cruise missiles for both anti-ship and land attack. The anti-ship weapons will fly at a sea-skimming altitude of 10 to 20 meters above sea level. The two weapons possess an extremely long range of between 600 to 800 kilometers for the anti-shipping variant. And the subsonic land attack variant of the caliber has a far longer range in thousands of kilometers. That said, to achieve the high end of the possible range, the cruise missiles will require external targeting, either from satellites or recon assets closer to the targets. The Buyang M is basically a low displacement platform for conducting long range strikes. This is a particular advantage for the Buyang M because international treaty prohibits long-range cruise missiles from operating on land, but there are no restrictions on operating them from ships. So, legally speaking, the Buyang M corvettes can deploy long-range missiles from shallow waters or rivers, basically inland, without being subject to restrictions. In terms of air defense capabilities, the Buyang class is armed with short-range infrared guided missiles. The original Buyang has a single turret-mounted missile launcher with around four IGLA man-portable SAMs. The Buyang M cruise missile corvette has two such turrets with a total of eight IGLA-type man pads. All corvettes are fitted with a pair of the good old AK-630 30mm seawards for point defense, although the latest vessel will be using the Panzer M, a far more advanced jamming resistant seawards, with both gun and missile capability. If all else fails, the Buyang has a pair of the PK-10 10-tube electronic decoy launcher to try and confuse the targeting system of the incoming threat. The Buyang class has a 3D active phased array radar called the Positive M, which is used primarily for air and surface search. This radar family is specifically developed to fit into small and medium sized warships. The Buyang M subclass has an improved version called the Positive M1. The Buyang also has the MR231 navigation radar and the 5P-1003 fire control radar for the A-190 naval gun, an improved variant of the very capable Puma fire control radar. The Russian Navy has a tendency to use many different radars on the same ship, assigning a specific function to each. This appears to be the case with the Buyang, despite the small size of the ship. There is also an anti-diver, anti-saboteur sonar, together with a set of 55mm anti-frogman grenade launcher. The fearsome striking power of the Buyang M corvette was demonstrated during the Russian intervention in the Syrian Civil War. In October 2015, three Buyang M corvettes and a single Russian frigate fired a total of 26 caliber cruise missiles from the Caspian Sea against targets belonging to the Islamic State in Raqqa and Aleppo in Syria. The weapons flew nearly 1,500 kilometers over Iran and Iraq before striking their targets. 
The same operation was carried out again from the Caspian Sea in November 2015. The Buyang is a low-displacement corvette, very cost-efficient and capable for operating from the littoral waters. A huge amount of firepower is packed inside a small vessel, including long-range firepower. To finish, here's some photos of the interior of the Buyang M. Enjoy. Thank you.